Hi, my name is Dee Dee O'Connell and I have been lucky enough to spend most of my life working in the theater off-Broadway. Um, to me, it is where the most exciting and challenging theater gets made. It's where the bravest and most interesting writers, designers, directors work. It's where the most sensitive, clear-headed and sophisticated producers work. But for all of us, actors included, the, the, the we are here because this is where the actors are. The, the, here is where you can be pretty sure that uh, your acting partner or for writers, producers, and directors, the people for whom you are entrusting your baby, will be down for whatever challenge you throw them. They will be flexible and willing to try things that no one has ever done before. They will be, they will have a subtle and honed sense of how theater gets made. They will be seasoned and game. I mean, I never cease to be amazed by the actors that I get to work with in the off-Broadway context. That deep pool of ready talent is what makes New York City a unique magnet for theater makers and audiences. Okay, if you are lucky enough to be an off-Broadway actor who gets to have a dream year, that happened for me when I was about 40, where I worked 52 weeks that year at various off-Broadway theaters that I had spent years loving and respecting and dreaming of working at. At the end of that year, I was terribly in debt and a shoe dropped, which was, uh, I can't believe it took that long, probably because I wasn't that smart. I was not going to be able to sustain a life working off Broadway. There is simply not enough money to sustain a very simple life in New York City, let alone a life that might involve college debt or having a family. Um, and uh, that sort of set me scuttling from the theater until I was able to get myself out of debt and afford to come back and basically, through my work, contribute to the theaters where I work. Um, let's try to imagine a life in the theater for the next generation, a real life in the theater for the next generations of actors where they will be able to do work we can't even begin to imagine. And let's hope that that life can have some dignity and let's hope that they will feel that their work has value. Um, it seems so obvious. Fair wage on stage.